Hi, I'm Mike Miller. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for checking out The Other Side. We're filming today down at the UNT studios, and I'm glad to have Cody Sewell here today. Thank you for being here. Great to be here, Mike. So how's this year been going for you? Well, it's going very well. Staying busy every day, so yeah, uh, that's all I can ask for. Celestial Circus is a group you've been working on here lately. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, it's a trio. It's my uh, project I've been working on, so it's kind of like progressive rock type of thing going on. Well, I don't want to put a label on it, but uh, it's kind of edgier rock, I guess you would say. Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, we're working on getting prepared to go in the studio in February to do drums and everything. Oh, really? So we kind of, most of the songs are written. Uh, you know, they have some touching up to do, but yeah. Uh, so hopefully by the end of February we have drums done and have a record out by summer. Yeah, that sounds good. Seven songs, I think. Seven songs. Yeah. You've played in other bands in the past, though, and with other musicians, and yes, yeah. I uh, so uh, when I started, uh, I started my first band in probably like my freshman year of college. Really, with my friends from high school, and and uh, we, you know, we played around a little bit, and it was fun. And then I played around uh, after that with a few other bands, and uh, with a band called Truffula Tree. Um, really, from, we were based in Tyler, and. Uh, we have a we have a record out on um, it's on iTunes and Spotify. Uh, Truffula Tree, beautiful, delusional. So That's that was a cool. five song EP. I, I thought it was a pretty good band, and yeah. you know I really enjoyed it. And then uh, after that, kind of uh, ended. I moved up to Denton, and then, yeah. So I've been kind of I've been here for a while, fishing around, trying to just trying to get something organic started up. Yeah, trying to find the right musicians yeah. to work with. And yeah, it's it's a. You know, you have to, it's a relationship, you know, with each member of the band, so it takes some time. You can't force it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I also play with uh, South FM from Dallas. South FM, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're actually working on a, in the writing process of a new record. So hopefully it'll be out by uh, beginning of 2019. So that'll, that'll be pretty good. Yeah. How long have you worked with them? Uh, it started in January last yeah. year, so it's been about a year. I saw some of the videos out there push me away and yeah we uh, we had an opportunity to play open for the Nixons and Bowling for Soup uh, at Bomb Factory on really? December 29th that's great yeah just uh, a week, few weeks ago and uh, our drummer you know got some drum cam footage and we we got the raw audio from the show and he mixed it up so you know it was it was a great show it was a lot of fun that's good so Bowling for Soup they've um They've been around for a while. They have a record contract, don't they? That they. Uh, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> They've been around for a while, but I'm, yeah. I'm not sure about any record contracts or anything. Yeah, I thought they had toured a few years ago. That they were sponsored by Dr. Pepper or somebody, you know. And probably so. <laughs> but um, they've always been really popular around here. Don't they have a few hit songs? Yeah, they had. Uh, no, they had like 1985. 1985. And, uh, Blanket on some of the other ones right now. Yeah, but, uh, they were entertaining. They had a pretty good show. Yeah, lots of, lots of comedy in their, in their set. Comedy. They move around a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So. And the Nixons. Yeah, the Nixons. They're f I believe they're based in Oklahoma City. They had a they had a big song called Sister. It was on the radio for a while there. They're kind of really? like you know '90s grunge type of thing going on. So they they've been doing a few reunion kind of tours, our shows oh, uh -huh. going on. So and I think they have new stuff coming out. And Slow Roosevelt, they, they've they been around for a while. Yeah, they've also been around. They were awesome. They killed it. Really? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, what kind of music do they do? Um, just heavy rock, like um, kind of, I wouldn't say it's metal, but you know, lots of lots of yelling and attitude going on with the oh, vocals really? and yeah. uh, you know, entertaining show. Are they so, a very big band? Um, no, they haven't been playing at all. They they used to play a lot around. I think they were known around Dallas, but uh, and uh, so this was kind of like a um, a nostalgic show. That's what the, some of the dudes were saying. Yeah. Some of the uh, South FM used to be. They used to have a record going in 2005, "Swallowing the Pill." That was a fairly big record, and really? they had some notoriety, and uh, things didn't work out. And so now, uh, you know, time has gone by, and. Uh, Paco Estrada is the singer for the band, and uh, we're friends. And um, so he asked me to come in and help work with the new record. So um, 
Yeah, that's what we're working on that. That's good. Yeah. The Curtain Club, y'all played there a few times? Um, well, South Up Him hasn't been playing out too much because we're spending more time instead of getting distracted, rehearsing, uh, you know, we're trying to like stay focused and write some songs because it's, yeah. it's hard to get everyone together. Um, oh, yeah. Like, you know, because I live in Denton and, you know, they're, most of them are based in Dallas. And, oh, are they? Yeah. You know, schedules is, you know, yeah. people's lives are going on. So a lot of times uh, sessions get canceled because, you know, life or whatever. The logistics so, of it, yeah. So we, we haven't played Curtain Club, but uh, I've played with, I played with Paco there in November, uh, just his solo stuff. Yeah. So, and, and he's, he, he's one of the people with Slow Roosevelt? No, he he's the singer for South FM. Oh, South FM. Okay, yes. yeah. Paco Estrada. Yeah, he he uh, has he he's been playing solo stuff for a while. Yeah. And he's just been playing around Dallas for a long time. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, check him out on social media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All that good stuff. The uh, NAM you do work there. Yeah, NAM. It's Neighborhood Art and Music School. It's in Frisco. Uh, so I've been there for about three or four years. Uh, man, time's flying. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I do private lessons, guitar lessons there, and uh, uh, I have students that we kind of form them together in bands and yeah. kind of show them the ropes on here's here's how you be in a band and here's how you communicate and practice. It, and you set them up like with recitals or something they perform and... Yeah, we do uh, like a semi-annual recital, like uh, end of spring and end of fall, or like in December and probably like May. Yeah. That's when we do them, and uh, we just, you know, we try to set it up to where they, you know, it's a big performance for them because otherwise they won't practice or anything. But when they know they have to get in, on a stage in front of people, it's, you know, they like, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. So the pressure's on for them. Well, the, the pictures look really good. I could could see the uh, video background or something, and then they're standing in front. They're standing on the stage, and there's like uh, video screens behind them or something. Where was that at? Frisco or. That might have been uh, Lava Cantina. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I think we, we did a little showcase there yeah. for students and instructors. That's in the colony. Yeah, that's in the colony. Yeah. So we kind of fish around. Try to, we have different venues that we do recitals at and like just events. Yeah, that general area out there, yeah. that, and that's really grown a lot. The colony. Oh yeah. And what the um, Towers Tap House at Little Elm. Yeah, that's a, it's a cool spot. It's by the Wake Park. Oh, really? Over uh, off 720, I believe, in Little Elm. So that's just some of my some of my students. They have a band called Three at Four, and uh, they they started doing some gigs in the last few months and like, getting paid for it. And you know, they do like two hours of cover s tunes and oh, really? Um, a few originals here or there. So that was a venue that Towers Tap House was like, you know, really nice to say, hey, yeah, okay, have these kids come in and yeah. <laughs> Be the entertainment, so it's, it's really cool to see. Well, that's good. The uh, NAM, this um, art and music school, did that exist? Before? That's uh, you, you work for them. Yeah, so uh, Levi Bradford is the owner of it. He, oh, uh huh. You know, it used to be just private lessons, and then he he took over, and so it's a recording studio and just private lessons. Yeah, he expanded place. it. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of cool things going on with that. It's, it's a lot of fun. That's good, and it, it, the kids get to perform for the community and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, definitely wish I would have had something like that growing up because I didn't, I didn't have a musical family or I grew up in the country in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of like, you know, it was a slow build for me getting around music. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh. So it's where, did really you, where did you grow up? Um, it's in East Texas, uh, kind of like 30 miles outside of Tyler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> not much going on out there. They, there's a college out there, though, isn't there? Yeah, University of Texas at Tyler. At Tyler. That's where I uh, went, uh, got my bachelor's there, and then after that, moved up here. Yeah, what so did you major in? Marketing. Marketing, that's yeah, good. Never, never use it, though. <laughs> <laughs> It's some good skills to have, though, for sure. Yeah, it was just kind of a general business degree. Yeah. You know, more more business administration than, like, marketing classes, I would say. Oh, so, really? Uh, I don't know. I might do something different if I had a chance to go back. 
Yeah. But, you know, I got it done. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's probably as marketable, though, as any kind of liberal arts degree. I, would, I mean, I would think so. so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was, I'm learning a lot. Everybody needs to know some business skills for sure. You know, the, the accounting classes, those were enlightening and all that stuff. Yeah. So you and your wife went on a vacation out to Kings Canyon? Yes, Saw yeah, we went to, there. and uh, earlier in the year we went to uh, just the California coast. And oh, is that where that is? Well, no, it's uh, it's in the Sierras, so it's kind of, it's east from the coast. So oh, yeah. We, we went down the coast and en enjoyed all that, and then Those we kind of went back up yeah. the other way. Yeah, it's beautiful, I love it. So think about it all the time, because yeah. you know, it's, like, it's just like so vast. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of natural um, beauties out there in that area, for sure. Beautiful Definitely. things. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to live out there. It's just so many people. Yeah, it'd be so expensive. <laughs> so many people, but uh, definitely like worth a visit for sure. It was my favorite part. We went, you know, we went to to the coast. We didn't even we didn't even touch the water. You know, we just kind of looked. But then when we came back up through the Sierras, that was um, definitely my favorite part. Yeah. Do you play keyboards too, or? No, no, just mostly guitar. I play drums. Drums, that's right. Drums and guitar, yeah. And one of those pictures, I saw you playing the drums at the part of the school you help out. Yeah, mm -hmm. so if I have, you know, some of my students, they'll, you know, as far as like gu guitar instruction, you know, you can play guitar with them, but a lot of times it's, you know, if I get on the drum set, you know, yeah. it's immediately like this interactive uh, situation where they have to like, they can't hide behind my guitar playing. Yeah. They have to perform the part for themselves, and it, it's just fun. Yeah. So uh, it's it's uh, it, it, it's a different kind of instruction they they learn, and you know, it's more hands-on type of thing. Yeah, where they get to play with a beat. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's a good feeling if they've never done that before, had much experience <laughs> doing Definitely. it. Definitely. <coughs> yeah. Each each time you have to do that, it's like a learning experience other than just sitting in your room, you know, like this, not paying attention to anything else. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you being here and yeah. um, get out of the way and let you play some music for cool. us. And thank you guys so much for checking out the show and stay tuned to check out some music by Cody Sowell and hope you have a great day. My name is Cody Sowell. I play for Celestial Circus. This is one of our tunes on our upcoming EP called Red Flag. So hope you enjoy. <laughs> like me I'm searching for a path unseen synchronize the path we seek there's something that I nearly miss I travel far for something like this
song's called Breathing Colors. Um, so this next one. Do the title track called Red Flags. next song is called Meet at the Edge. This will be my last one here. So uh, Again, I'll play for Celestial Circus. So we have an EP coming out uh, by uh, summer 2018. So be on the lookout. We'll be playing around Denton.
one chance to face this matter erase the gray in the border's pattern there's a meadow we can meet to find the edge find the edge blurry lines separate pieces of the common ground we stake blurry lines separate of the common ground we can't replace one piece one love to share compassion one place one side for our future sake a metal we can meet to find the edge find the edge blurry lines separate pieces of the common ground we stake blurry lines separate common ground we can replace we can replace can Thank you uh, once again, Celestial Circus. Uh, check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram. We'll be playing around Denton and uh, DFW, so hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 